Hello and welcome to the 15th and final part of Doom on the Ultraviolence Difficulty. Now I'm now about to start the penultimate level of the Doom campaign on Ultraviolence, E4M7 or Episode 4, Mission 7 and Hell Followed. And this will be a nice relaxing end to the playthrough because it's not really too difficult. I shouldn't have any problems, but I say that, but I will now. <laughs> but I shall begin. Shotgunner, shotgunner and pistol man. Hard start there. Oh, pistol man, shotgun man. Hmm. For the sec for the penultimate mission of the whole game, you would have thought they would have made it a bit harder than that for that bit. But here's a mega armor. For the hell of it. Oh, you missed. Hello, Ink. That's a backpack if you do it from a pistol start. Pistol start. Pistol start. For the hell of it, two rockets should be enough. So if you ever want to do that, two rockets should be enough. And I'll be getting my rocket launcher out again. Because, oh no. Lovely jubbly. Two rockets can usually take out all of all of them or most of them. So yeah, usually the rocket launcher is good for that bit. And now I'm gonna kill him off. I'm not approaching them yet. So I want to get this bit done first. And there's a green fireball of a baron. Cause yes, there is yet more barons yet again. Easy again. Easy again, easy again. There's a nice little cap crapo capo for Oh jeez, that's what I get for being cocky. Using that rocket launcher there. But here is a nice little crusher trap area. Where if you get crushed you're dead instantly because of how slow it decides to crush you. But I can access this area from both ways, but I accessed it the accessed it through that way. Uh, I splashed myself around the face with a rocket launcher, so yeah. It didn't do that much damage because of the armour I've got. But is that Blumin in fighting with the Kako? It better be because I want the Kako to absolutely destroy it because I like Kako demons. I thought I could hear something. Oh, I'm making light work of this. Oh, it's because I said it was easy. Because <laughs> it is, really. It's just me messing about. Cause I'm, <laughs> it's easy enough. This is easy enough as well. Oh, missed it completely. I don't know how you didn't go through the teleporter then, but never mind. Kill off them too very easily, indeed. And I think I telefragged that just to make sure, yes. Obviously the best telefrag is the cyber demon. <laughs> That's awesome how you do that. Right, I'm gonna flank the enemies from the other side from this side. I'm going to open this area up and I thought there's usually an imp there but maybe not. Yeah and I need to quickly get the buffer out. Yeah, that secret makes you indestructible. But this is one of the two secrets that is inaccessible because this is so thin you cannot get the secret apparently. I looked it up just to see. I was like, how comes I can't get all the secrets? 50% secrets, I got two invulnerability spheres, I was, and then I looked and I was like, okay, fair enough. Can't get them all. So basically, it still counts as 100% for the secrets I can get, basically. That's the way it's gonna be. I'm going 
going to count percentage towards the amount of secrets I can get and the amount of those secrets I do end up getting. If you get what I mean by that. If you don't, then never mind. There's always a next time for me to explain to you on the AP Adam Plays YouTube channel. I need to be careful of green balls of fire like that. Green balls of fire. Yeah, I like using the rocket launcher on this mission. Yeah, there's no messing about now, as I said. Yeah, you can die. It doesn't matter how many rockets I use, it really don't. But for some reason, rockets can go through trees. <laughs> I think the way they designed them. Yeah, it missed. Didn't miss that time, no. But I'm not missing you because I have to. Because in some like source ports, like because you get stuff like Z Doom and G Z Doom or Z Doom and G Z Doom. But lost souls do not. Sometimes in some source ports, lost souls don't count towards your hundred percent. But in Z Doom or Z Doom, they do. And I don't know what source port it is. What source port this is? So I don't know. If I need to get 100% through killing all lost souls, but I'll kill them anyway, even though they're annoying. <laughs> I was literally about to get my rocket launcher out right then. Do you know what? Do you know what? I'm feeling good today. So you can take two if you don't want to die, mate. And that is practically Anhel Follow completed. I'm just gonna collect all the goodies across the other side, but you need to die first, otherwise I'm not getting hundred percent. Now you're dead, mate. How do you feel to die? How do you feel? I need to be careful not to get crushed. Because I don't I don't wanna be uh, I don't wanna witness what it would be like to be crushed by Rusev. So I won't wanna be crushed by an actual crusher. I nearly got crushed then, like a Rusev crush. And I've practically got full ammo for everything, so time to leave and hell follow. As I said, 50% secrets, so that's 100% kills and secrets for the secrets you can get. Now it's time for the final mission. On to the crawl. This basically means get rid of it, get rid of all the evil and cruel ways. And you get, if you haven't played this game before, you can guess what the final boss will be. And as I said, I'm going to get the plasma out because of this. Oh, I love doing that. I just love doing that. I really do. <sighs> Joyous days. Oh dear, I think you missed that. But there's two ra radiation suits anyway, so... But I'll, get, I'll be getting a lot of plasma in a minute anyway, so... Yeah, but <clears throat> time to change to the BFG. Okay then, don't die. I can afford to use a lot of plasma, mate. That's it, I'm learning the art of pre firing before I open it, not as I open it. Do you know what, why not? It's, for, it's the last mission, why not just absolutely destroy every enemy of this mission? None of these count as a secret because there's only one secret. And that's that one with the um, chain gun was. I forgot to mention that because I was just so excited to just absolutely destroy every enemy of this of this mission with the plasma and BFG. <laughs> but yeah, if you see in the, on the end of each um, episode, you can't see your percentage, but as long as you kill everything, you know you've got 100%. 
Obviously, if it was on the PC, it will show you how many secrets and stuff you actually can, you've got and stuff. So it actually gives you your progress tracker, so you would know anyway if you check. But I think that's the only secret that one, unless, unless the area up there counts as a secret, because I'll show you how to get there in a minute. But I need to go all the way back round, because I went down there. I'm going to have to go back all the way back round again, once I go to that area. Ow. Why not go up to the face of demons and just absolutely melt their face off? Why not? Right, now I'll go back over here. Go all the way back round. What the hell are you doing there? You teleported, you douche. You don't do that. Right, now I'll go back to the other area. Now you're going to go wow with the amount of enemies up here. I, I hope nobody says this is cheating because I just want to have a laugh just doing this, just showing you how much destruction can be caused by a plasma gun. Yeah, I'm learning how to do that. But now you're going to see the most pathetic boss fight in history. Once these are dead. One sec. We've we'll run out of plasma, but I'll be getting some more in a minute. This ain't the boss fight, obviously, it's not balance. It's a spidey! It is in fact a spider mastermind. Ow, that didn't work. Yeah, this is laughable once you get your BFG out. I'm going to show you what a BFG can do to a spider, you've got to get, get up close and it kills it within two, just like that. But this might count as a secret, wherever it is. There it is. Right. Now, oh, now I'll kill off the rest of all these enemies with that. That went a bit weird, the ending. But now I'm going to finish everything off with a BFG just for a laugh. Not dead. Yeah, that is Doom on Ultraviolence difficulty completed. So now I'll read you what it says. So, the Spider Mastermind must have sent forth its legions of Hellspawn before your final confrontation with that terrible beast from Hell. But you stepped forward and brought forth eternal damnation and suffering upon the Horde as a true hero would in the face of something so evil. Besides, someone has was going to pay for what happened to Daisy, your pet rabbit. But now you see spread before you... Uh, oh yeah, before you more potential pain and gibbitude as a nature of demons run amok among our cities. Next stop, hell on earth. And Hell on Earth is the second Doom. So basically, that was the extra episode of Doom done and dusted, just like that. Snap of a finger, over already. Yep, that was definitely a laughable ending, but if you forget about that, it's a good level, but I just wanted to destroy the destroy that mission by using the plasma just so you can see how easy it is <laughs> and how good the plasma actually is if you give it credit but that is the end of this doom playthrough well, it's been a very good playthrough and i hope you have enjoyed it but now it's time to say farewell to it and i'll be playing doom 2 hell on earth next on ultraviolence so i will see you then, goodbye.